Following a recent article in the Los Angeles Times about a religious quiz, links to which are in the description, certain members of the Alliance of Arrogant Atheists, in particular YouTube users Proportional Response and It's the Superfly, have been shamelessly bragging about how they and other atheists know more about religion than the true believers. In order to show that these claims are without foundation, and the likes of Superfly have not studied the Bible in detail, I have devised my own quiz. This quiz is brought to you from the pages of Conservapedia, and in particular the page Biblical Scientific Foreknowledge. I've included a link to this page should, as I anticipate you will, find what follows too bizarre to be true. In order to participate in this quiz, you'll need a pencil and paper and an open mind. In fact, a mind so open that your brain may well fall out. Whilst doing the quiz, you may wish to pause the video in order to give proper consideration to your answers. I'm genuinely interested to know how you'll do, so please let me know in the comments section, and no cheating. So, question 1. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. Isaiah 31.5 So what scientific knowledge did this passage foretell? Was it the aeroplane? Missile early warning satellite systems? Global navigation systems? Or the wave particle nature of matter? Question 2. The earth came to exist in an utterly formless and empty state. Genesis 1-2 According to Conservapedia, what knowledge did this foretell? Was it plate tectonics, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, the hydroplate theory, or the wave particle nature of matter? Question 3. The only miracle described in all four Gospels is the multiplication of loaves and fishes. This is foreknowledge of what? Is it a. The importance of a balanced diet, b. An obscure mathematical principle, c. Evidence that all matter is made out of the same elemental particles, or D. The wave-particle nature of matter. Question 4. He walked on the surface of the lake and came to the boat, nearly passing it. But when they saw him walking on water, they thought it must have been a ghost, and cried out. Mark 648 49 Was this a premonition of A. The jet ski B. The varying weight of objects in fluids of different density C. Mobile phones or D. The wave-particle nature of matter Question 5. When the host of the wedding feast tasted the water, it had been made into wine. John 2.9. Is this evidence of A. The cell theory, B. The germ theory, C. The theory of classic relativity, or D. The collapse of the wave function upon observation? Question 6. And the second angel sounded, and, as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. The Book of Revelation 8.8-9 8, Did this foretell the discovery of meteoroids, nuclear bombs, hot underwater sea vents, or the internal combustion engine? Question 7 A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen so shall they run. Joel 2, 3-4 Is this a premonition of the Ford Model T, the Sherman tank, the stealth bomber, or nuclear submarines? Question 8 Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber, for a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. Ecclesiastes 10.20 Was this foreknowledge of the making of Goblin Teasmaids, the transistor radio, the helicopter, or Maxwell's equations? Question 9 But the righteous that is by faith say, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, or who will descend into the deep. Romans 10, 6-7 Was this scientific foreknowledge of the elevator, the roller coaster, the helicopter, or classic relativity?
Okay, so I'm going to give you the answers now. If you want to rewind and have another think, please do so. But here come the answers. Question one, as the birds flying, so will the Lord, etc., etc., was scientific foreknowledge of the aeroplane. Answer A. Question two, the earth came to exist in a state utterly formless and empty. That was scientific foreknowledge of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Question three, the multiplication of loaves and fishes. The answer to that was B. It is a scientific foreknowledge of an obscure mathematical principle. Question 4. Jesus walking on water. That was scientific foreknowledge of the wave-particle duality of matter. Question 5. The changing of water into wine. That was scientific foreknowledge of the collapse of the wave function upon observation. Answer D. Question 6. And the second angel sounded, so on and so on. It's funny that Thick Shades thought this was actually evidence of nuclear weapons being used in the Gulf to seal the oil spill, while Conservapedia considers it to be scientific foreknowledge of the discovery of meteoroids. Question 7. A fire devoureth before them, and so on. The answer to that was the automobile. So take a point if you put A, the Model T. Question 8. Curse not the king. That was scientific foreknowledge of the transistor radio. Question 9. But the righteous, that is by faith, says, do not in your heart, blah, 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 is actually, according to Conservopedia, scientific foreknowledge of classic relativity. I've expanded on the answers in the description below. Please let me know how you get on. Thank you very much for watching.